part of waking up besides vultures in your cup is looking at your projects. My favorite part about painting is waking up and looking. Oh, I was looking at it the morning after and look at my lizard skin. Yes. Wow. That's really good looking. Oh. 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 Slide it. Don't hesitate. Oh, baby. Bam. Brat looking freaking tasty. The day has finally come. I am shooting the inside of the Bronco with lizard skin. There's two different types, sound deadening and heat control. I went ahead and got the heat control. I was told to just kind of rough it up, get any debris off, any glue. I use, I'm using some 80 grit right here. Just keep in mind if you are gonna do this yourself that if you sand anything down to bare metal, it needs to be primed first. And now that I'm <laughs> making this video, I just remember that I forgot to prime, so. This stuff. It's like original yeah. on there. Yep. This stuff comes off pretty easy with the pry bar. I'd scrape that off. Okay. Yeah. On both sides, it's fine. Yeah, I've shot it over existing undercoat before and just hosed it down with the pressure washer mm -hmm. just to get dirt off and stuff. Okay, so what do I have to tape off? Windows? Mm hmm Everything I don't want, lizard skinned. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was not fun. That took about 25 minutes. <laughs> I do not want to do that area. It's just like, it's like putty. I don't even know, tar. So as you mix it around, it activates it. I read that it can be stored for like six months to a year if you have some leftover that's already been activated. This is where I regretted not sanding a little bit more on those wheel wells because the glue was showing through. However, I was using an old gun and it just kept getting clogged. So I would have sanded a little bit more on that wheel well. If you got some big heavy glue, sand that, sand it down. It's worth it. But yeah, the gun kept getting clogged, so Jared would have to take it every couple of, uh, for every 45 seconds it felt like, and clear it out with water, soapy water, and then give it back to me. It took all day, as you can see. Oh, you guys, it's so fresh. Oh, oh, it looks so good. lighter on camera but it's like really black wow wow oh good morning good morning i know i just jumped right out of bed didn't i i was so excited houston i have made a decision <laughs> i have made a decision and i really feel my heart it's the right one because of you take the time out of your day to like watch my videos and to Give the best advice that you can give for me and it has helped me so much thank you because when i posted that video the day that i said that rv life was over i was on the phone with a guy and about to buy a horse trailer i'm gonna say like 3 3 30. all right i'll 30. talk to you soon i thought you said morgan that you weren't gonna buy one until you posted this video at least 16 feet from tail to tongue need to weld on a door I'm the type of person I get an idea and I'm like, okay, execute immediately. No thinking period whatsoever. And I posted that video and I started reading the comments and it, I did, I never even considered the fact that a horse trailer would just be soaked in urine and, and poop smell, right? And I never even, never thought, never even crossed my mind until I read those comments. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I have decided that I'm just going to take this one day at a time not make any big decisions, and just focus on what's in front of me, the important things that are in front of me. So Suburban and Bronco. I, if I wanna pull something with the Bronco, we gotta get make sure that thing is like in tip top shape. So I'm just focusing on that right now. Let's get the Suburban out of here, and let's get the Bronco like, you know, make sure the brakes are good. Let's do the important stuff this time. Instead of ripping everything out and worrying about banana leaf fabric on the walls let's get a solar panel let's get the inverter let's get the battery bank let's get that hooked up in the RV, in the bronco let's make sure that everything is in good running condition i need to change my brakes and my rotors right am i on the right track now guys you like this are you proud <laughs> woo <laughs> like let's get that stuff done so that's what i'm doing it's really hard for me to spend money because i i don't really have a lot but um 
Oh, thank you, my Patreons. I haven't cashed out my Patreon account in a while, so that's really helping me. That actually bought my solar panel. So, they, oh, that's gonna make me cry. Thank you. You guys are crazy. I'm emotional. It's just like crazy. You guys like give me money, you know? What? You're crazy. But look at that. You bought me a solar panel that is literally the size of the whole Bronco hood. So there goes a roof rack, you know? <laughs> but we got this. Uh, it's hard for me to, to spend money because I just since I have so little I'm like I just want to hang on to it and just wait for disaster so that I can get myself out of it <laughs> and uh, I just decided no I'm gonna have faith that money will continue to come and I'm just gonna buy the things that I need and get the important stuff done electricity in the Bronco so that whatever I decide to tow <laughs> the Bronco's the machine it's 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 ready and that's that's what I'm doing so that's it I'm taking it day by day today we're doing today and I will I still plan on leaving here in six weeks and we'll make a decision then I'm leaning towards like just winging it in the Bronco and just get out of California go have some fun I mean I can if I just have the Bronco oh my gosh the possibilities I know it's a little crazy but if I didn't have two wiener dogs I would already be in that but now that I've been in this you guys they're always by my side <laughs> We could be in something small. Maybe we'll head out of here and maybe I'll find a trailer in Texas. Or maybe I'll find a cool horse trailer that it doesn't smell like you're in in Tennessee somewhere. Or maybe I'll find a piece of property that's like a rent to own situation and I can move right on it and find a cheap trailer and just go park it there. Cross that bridge when we get there. I would like to spend a few months obviously traveling around. I just need to breathe. Oh, you know, I've if you think about it, I've been doing non-stop projects for just a while now. I just kind of need to regroup and not feel like I have to wake up and like just go nuts like with my hands and like working and figuring things out and what am I doing now and what's the plan? Like, whew. That's why the Bronco life is looking real good to me right about now. Me and the dogs, we can just go see stuff. They got these doggy strollers, so like we can go down to New Orleans and just walk around the city and throw them in the stroller. We're gonna have a blast. Go to different dog parts. Go down to Key West, and and we could park on the beach and just chill. I'm gonna have everything I need. I'm getting a pretty large battery bank. I'm thinking four deep cells, and it's a 360 60 watt solar panel. If you guys have advice on on electricity, please throw it at me right now. And then I'll have a generator where I could take that to like, you know, Walmart parking lot during the day and charge up my battery bank if there is no sun. And I'm hoping that the four deep cell batteries will um, be enough to at least give me power for a few days. Hoping to have a laptop here very soon so that I don't have to worry about this big, huge desktop and powering that up. Guys, I roll that thing around on a cart right now in order to find Wi-Fi. There is no telling me that you can't do something because you don't have the tools to do it. I will be like, no, no excuses, no excuses. <laughs> if I had to take this desktop into a Starbucks, I would. That would be a desperate moment. Okay. All right, I've been talking for 12 minutes, so I gotta go. Yeah, I really gotta go. Today I'm doing actually a little bit of like, earn my keep work. So I have to put together a truck bed that I sanded and go clean the, the house that's on this property. So I gotta go do that. Well, first I gotta finish this edit and then put my computer on a rolling cart and then roll around the shop. The best Wi Fi is on that side. And then it takes about two hours for this to upload. So yes, while this is uploading, I'll be cleaning. Okay, I got this. All right, you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Another comment I've seen is, uh, oh, it's so sad you're giving up on El Dorado. And I feel the same way. You know, I'm like, oh, I love a challenge. I should just try to like see how far this thing could actually get across the country. But I'm also like, I want to have a good time. I want to be able to just go explore new areas and just go find a place to park and kind of stealth camp a little bit. Stealth park, stealth sleep, whatever you call it. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no game plan for when I hit the road in a few weeks.
have some fun. Check out new cities so I can go start a new life. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take the headliner off and spray the rhino liner. I'm gonna go ahead and take the headliner. You're crooked. Go ahead and take the headliner off and spray the lizard skin underneath it. So hot. So hot.